Welcome to Technability, I'm Berge. Alright, what we have is a HTC One and a Galaxy S4, both running CM10, but there is a fundamental difference. HTC One is running 4.3 CM10, so it's CM10.2, and the Galaxy S4 is running 4.2.2. So, I'm sure you guys want to know what's the difference, right? Are there any differences? Are they noticeable? Should it be something that you should be concerned about? Should you be going out and flashing 4.3 on your phone right now? Well, I can tell you right off the bat, guys, 4.3 CM10.2, it's not the most super stable ROM. There's a lot of bugs. Uh, on the offset, just using it like on a day-to-day -day use, such as, you know, dialer, messaging, etc., you're probably not going to deal with too many bugs. But as soon as you start downloading third-party apps, ooh, you see the bugs begin. Uh, things just crash, things close on their own. Uh, you get issues of where apps just open on their own and close on their own. It's really just kind of funky and all over the place. But in terms of its fluidity and smoothness, it's definitely up there. Is it much better than, say, 4.2.2 uh, with CM10.1? Nah, not really. And you could see by me just kind of opening and closing out of applications here, it's pretty much the same. Uh, the multitasking is definitely the same. If I just hold down the uh, power button, hold down the power button, you can see it's the same. All right, I could just push this and close out of everything. Let's check out the cameras here on both these devices for ultra pixel, 13 megapixel. You can see both cameras respectively and the quality that you're going to get with both of them. Solid on both ends, most definitely. Uh, <clears throat> everything else is basically the same, guys. You got the transition effects, you got all the CM settings, which I've done plenty of videos about. Uh, you can check that out on my channel or go to technability.com. We have more written in depths. You can see all the features are the same for the most part. Um, well, not even for the most part, they literally all are the same features. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the lock screens here. There are minor differences with 4.3, but again, they're very minor. Very, very minor. Or you can see the lock screens are the same. You got the widgets, uh, you got the camera, and of course, you got the lock screen shortcuts. I just go ahead and do that as such. I can exit out of lock screen. Let's te test out some of the speed here. So let's en enter and exit settings. Okay, about even. App drawer, again, about identical literally. Alright, Play Store. Oops. Alright, that wasn't fair. Let's try that again. Play Store. Okay, about even. Alright, let's do uh, the clock. Okay. Here, it goes to the HC1. Let's do um, calendar here. Okay, and let's just do a quick opening and closing out of apps. see how fast that is, right? And who's going to be opening and closing apps this fast, but why not, right? You want to know how fast it truly is? Well, there you go. I don't think it gets much faster than that. All right, let's go ahead and check out the keyboards here. Well, it's super responsive. No complaints on the keyboards. Great auto response or auto uh, text and auto fixes. And, predictions and whatnot. You also have gesture-based typing, so you can enable that if you so wish. You can exit out. Easy breezy. Taking an icon and drag it into another icon creates a folder, obviously. Uh, you guys should already be aware of how stock Android or CM10 for the most part works, but I just wanted to go ahead and emphasize that these two builds really are very similar. Customizable quick settings, um, notification bar where you can set up and remove toggles up top, as you could see. Uh, the dialer is basically the same. Uh, if I go to the dialer here, you can see the dialer is the same. Exit out. Uh, so everything is basically very similar. Let's just go ahead and test out the web browser here. Okay, let's go to Technability. Alright, let's go ahead and check out Technability here, guys, and see which one loads faster. Looks like the S4 is uh, ahead. Yeah, the S4 is pretty much already loaded, and you can see pinch zoom, super fast, super responsive. You can see the HTC One, super fast, super responsive. Yeah, the S4 finished first. So the S4 finished first with uh, loadingtechnability.com. All right, but both are super duper responsive, with super crisp text on both, most definitely. 1080p screens, you're not going to notice a pixel in sight. Let's exit out, and let's go ahead and just quickly run... A, uh, Google Now test. Oh, you know what? I have the widgets on the home screen. Okay. Tell me the weather. It's 62 degrees and mostly cloudy in Glendale. 17 degrees? <laughs> Who is the President of the United States? 
Barack Obama is the President of United States of America. Thank you. All right, so that's basically CM10 on both these devices, and I wanted to just go ahead and throw in the iPhone real quick, show you guys iOS 7. I was going to do a separate video, but you know what, guys? You guys know all about CM10. You guys know all about stock Android. I don't think I need to do a separate video for that. I could just show you guys what the differences here are. So let's pick up the S4 here and look at the differences here between the S4 and the iPhone 5. Obviously, iOS 7 Beta 4, CM10.1. Uh, CM See speed differences. Both have the home buttons here. Right, let's open the browser. Okay, close out of the browser. Actually, you know what? Let's open the browser here and do a pinch zoom test. All right, so look at pinch zoom here on the S4. You can see pinch zoom here on the iPhone. Just a hair smoother on the iPhone. Uh, still, in regards to pinch zoom, they have that smoothness. One thing I don't particularly like about Safari is that if you scroll, you can't scroll to the... Uh... One thing I don't like about Safari in particular is that if you scroll, uh, you basically have to keep scrolling to move all the way down to a screen, whereas with the Galaxy S4, uh, you could just kind of scroll as hard as you wish uh, to go as low as you want or as high as you want on the home screen. So it's a nice little... Uh thing there with Android specifically not with specifically just the Galaxy S4 but with Android but here you can see you got the iPhone 5 iOS 7 4.3 on the uh, HC1 CM10.2 and 4.2.2 CM10.1 on the Galaxy S4 three of basically the top devices in the world right now that you could purchase with their latest and greatest now the S4 does have a 4.3 beta build out guys it's kind of buggy again if you want to check it out I'll post the link below otherwise thank you for watching if you have any requests please don't hesitate to ask I am Baird, you're watching Technability. Don't forget to subscribe and check out www.technability.com. Thank you, guys.